All right, this is a uh, video review of the Saddleback Leather Flight Bag Briefcase. Um, this one was purchased in January of 2022. It was one of the Dave's Deals uh, discounted models uh, because of some type of, uh, I don't know, deformation or abnormality or problem with it that I never found. I still can't find it. Um, but I bought it at that point in time, uh, the discount uh, brought it down to $471. Uh, we're in August of 2023 now. They retail for $629 uh, right now. And this is, of course, the black version of it. Um, I bought this bag because I'm a professional pilot and um, I've been flying corporate jets, private jets. Um, and I wanted a bag that I could... Um, you know, bring around with me that would have all the stuff I needed. I was doing a lot of day trips at the time when I bought it. Um, so I did not need, um, you know, I've got, I have this big luggage work stealth bag right here, which is great for, you know, trips where you have, you know, multiple nights away. Um, it's for demonstration purposes here. Uh, but this was great for a day pack, uh, a, a day bag. Um, so first, I just wanted to demonstrate that it, it'll it hang off if you do, if you're a pilot and you do have one of these luggage works bags, which are very popular. Um, it has a little ring, of a, a little, I don't know, hook. Um, and it works great with this bag. Um, this is empty right now, but when you're towing it, you know, it'll end up being like this, so it's not dragging along the floor. Uh, when, you do, when you stop towing, then it rests back on the floor. But a lot of bags are like that, a lot of the accessory bags. Um, so I ended up buying a, um, uh, I think on Etsy, just someone was making these leather handle covers because the ring uh, on that, on that uh, suitcase can kind of, I imagine over time it's made of metal, it'll, it could start eating you know, into the leather, um, start wearing it down. I didn't want that, so I bought this pretty cheap um, full grain uh, leather cover here with nice buttons. And so I'll use that when I remember to use it. It doesn't always happen. Um, and then it just lives back here when I don't need it and it doesn't take up any space. So. Um, yeah, so here it is. I have it loaded with some stuff that I normally use. You know, on the outside here, I got a pen and a highlighter. These are back pockets here. Uh, you can put stuff in. I, uh, on the airplane that I was flying, I could put this kind of down next to my seat on the floor. Um, and of course, the design of these saddleback briefcases allows you to open it up. So it'd be sitting on the floor, um, just like this. I could reach in and grab what I needed, reach down, grab a highlighter if I needed it, pen if I needed it. Um, in here, I would store um, cables and chargers. I have my MacBook Pro charger and cable in here. It's a lot more room um, available. And what I'd normally do is I would have a, uh, I'd, I'd dedicate one of these pockets to stuff I don't normally need. So passport, um, at the time a, a COVID vaccine card, um, just stuff that, you know, it, I was never really getting into that unless it was you know, we were flying international or, or something uh, where it wasn't needed very often. And one of them had just a bunch of cables and chargers that I might just kind of leave like this, where it's not strap closed, it's just kind of down like that. So I could quickly do that. Um, the inside is great. I got this, this is a more recent edition. This Hydro Flask is shorter uh, than most. It's 21 ounces. Um, it's one of their, I think, lighter weight versions, steel instead of aluminum. But the great thing about this, because it sits, it's so short, when you close the top, it fits in there. So um, a lot of, you know, other water bottles would stick out, so you couldn't do that. So this is great. Um, my headset in here, I use the Bose QC35s with the uh, N-Flight, uh, or U-Mic, I, I forget the names of them. There's a couple of them out there, but basically you take your, your Bose headset and you plug in a apparatus into this thing that hooks up to the uh, to the audio port on here and you can use it as an aviation headset. Uh, I don't think they're TSO, uh, you know, certified. So certain airlines or operators might not allow you to use them, but it works great for me. Um, in this setting, I have my Kindle in here. Um, 
for hanging out the FBO. And then of course my iPad, I like the iPad mini, uh, but a regular iPad would also fit in here. In fact, for a while, the job I was at provided regular sized iPads and we had two of them, uh, one for backup. So I just kept both of them in here and it fit just fine. Um, I got my MacBook in there. You can kind of see the inside here has this kind of loose pigskin. Um, sorry, can you see this here, loose pigskin um, pocket. Uh, that kind of gets annoying. It can kind of get in the way if you're like jamming stuff down in here, um, but it's really not that big of a problem. And for smaller things, it is nice to kind of keep them out of the way. That's the only pocket on the inside of this thing. Um, Back side again has this pocket where I kept this guy and I would put just papers in here. Um, you know, if there were uh, any type of, uh, any type of paperwork that I needed to keep track of, I had it in here. Um, I'd put receipts in here, um, until I got back. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a nice convenient place to slide papers and things. Um, this of course has the older Saddleback logo on it, which I like a lot more. Than the new one and i'm glad i got this before the new one came out um you can kind of see so this is about i was using this um for a full year um and i was flying anywhere from eight to twelve days a month i think on average um so it has about a year of use on it i haven't used it much this year i've used it a little bit but um you can kind of let's see if i can you can kind of see the scratches that i've that it's that it's uh, accrued over time bottom here just from being on the ground a bit this is the s that you get with the dave's deal stuff you just stamp it right there it's out of the way uh, again i never found out what the problem was with this thing um, but um, front side um, so, some wear but a fun story with this i'm gonna make a separate video about it but i this actually uh, a toddler vomited all over this, um, which was horrible. Uh, and it vomited all over my foot. It, the, the toddler vomited all over my foot. She did. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video of that because that's kind of a fun story. But, um, yeah, uh, it, uh, you can't tell that, that it got vomited on anymore. Um, in that video, I'll tell you what I did to, to fix it, but, um, yeah, great bag. I highly recommend it for, for pilots. Obviously, it's good for any other, you know, a number of other professions or uses as well. Um, yeah, I, I've been really happy with it. Um, I'm going to be flying shortly here for a, a major airline. And so um, hopefully I'll be able to use this. I mean, just to, you know, carry my headset and iPad and stuff around in, put it on that suitcase. Um, if... You know, it has, for, for pilots, the, um, the flight deck in which you're operating, you know, kind of dictates if you can use it or not. If there's no room for this kind of thing, then there's no, you don't really get the advantage of this kind of opening and maybe it'd be better with something a little bit smaller, maybe more compact. Um, but in other aircraft, it's, it'll fit just fine and it looks great, really convenient. Uh, it just, it's just aircraft and company specific. So um, what I would recommend is if you are, um, in an aircraft where this can sit on the floor next to you, or if there's a really big kind of, um, you know, storage area, uh, in the flight deck, very close to you where you can put this, then it would be great. Um, otherwise it's not really, I don't know. Uh, the, the recent job I had flying for a fractional, uh, I would just, being of the day, you know, take my my headset and stuff out of here and then throw this in the back of the plane in the cargo area. So you weren't, I wasn't really getting the, um, much of the advantages of it. Um, it's nice because it's also, it's nice enough. You can bring it to an interview. So the, um, kind of legacy airline that I applied, uh, that I interviewed with and I've ended up getting a job offer from, uh, they brought this to my interview. Um, and actually on, on the way out of town, um, I was talking to another pilot, uh, at the airport and, um, he looked at my bag and he said, Oh, I know you're coming from an interview. Um, because you'd never, you know, that's not a, that's not a flight bag that you'd use on a regular basis. It's too nice for that. Um, 
he has a point, you know, it is really nice, but at the same time, you know, I bought this thing to use it and I'm not babying it in any way. I don't, I don't really believe in that buying some nice thing just to keep it super nice. I'm gonna, if I buy something nice, I want to use it. You know, if it gets beat up, then hopefully I did my research and I bought one that was made well enough and strong enough that it will hold up. Um, but um, yeah, so it's great. Highly recommend it. Uh, make sure it fits your needs before you get it. Um, let's see if there's anything else I can think of. Um, yeah, I, uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, just leave a comment. Uh, I've got a bunch of other Saddleback leather review videos about different products. And um, it's just fun because I, I like the company. I like their philosophy, their designs. Uh, and I like to kind of just share my thoughts on it because um, I've been in positions of wanting to buy something like this and they're not cheap. So my goal with these videos is to kind of educate you but as best I can before you buy one to make sure it's right for you and it's what you want. Um, I guess one more thing I should mention is um, you know, some scratches over here by the, it comes with a strap so you can use it as a shoulder bag. I don't really know where these scratches came from. I didn't really use that strap much. Um, I think maybe what happened was this little keychain here, the, the edge is a little bit sharp and it was might've been scratching it. Um, this, you know, if you're a, if you're a pilot, you wear these on your on your bags, particularly in the in the corporate, you know, private jet environment, because if you have your bag mixed with the passenger bags in the back, like this one has been um, at my uh, most recent job, you don't want someone accidentally taking it, unloading it with the passenger stuff, uh, and then your bag is suddenly missing. So um, you kind of want to, you know, let anyone who's, you know, might be handling this know that. Hey, this belongs on the airplane with the flight crew. Don't give it away with the passenger stuff. So that's why that's on there. Um, and then this side had more of a, uh, a a tag that had my contact information on it. You know, in case this was lost or whatever. Um, that's about all I got. Keep an eye out for that uh, the vomit video. It's going to be a fun one. I'll share some photos. <laughs> and like I said, just leave some comments uh, if you have any questions. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them. And thanks for watching.